<laughs> Sorry, we're just too busy jamming the star. Okay, <laughs> let's, it's time for Lights, Camera, Atlanta. And we are starting out in Fulton County. I have a big shout out for the faculty and staff and students of Seaborn Lee Elementary School. I had the honor of speaking at their career day just yesterday. And this was the first one in my hometown. We talked about the fun celebrity interviews that they see on TV, but we also talked about the journey necessary to get to that level. The students asked great questions about challenges on the job. We even played a game and they told me to tell Crash, Sheba and Chesley to say hello. Hi. I'm headed to Roland Elementary School today. Oh, they say hello back guys. Hi. <laughs> All right, folks, in 2008, we became housewives. Four years later, we fell in love and hip hop. We've also been married to medicine, tardy for a few parties, and had time to say yes to a few dresses. Atlanta is quickly becoming the reality TV capital of the world, but why? I got my answer from the industry's top executives. This season on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. You watch the love and hip hop Atlanta? Check yourself. The rise of reality television is the new reality of Atlanta. So much so that seminars like this one are now being held to find more and more talent. What are you doing? What is your story? LaShawn Browning, who created this event called Selling Your Reality, is the executive producer of one of the most highly rated reality shows ever filmed in the Peach State, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. What you're not gonna do is poke the beast out of hibernation. I did take the test. She tells me the 30% tax credit, which was approved in 2005 and expanded in 2008, has played a huge role in luring productions, but that's not all. It's a beautiful place to raise children and to film. The locations are amazing. It's easy to, it's super film friendly. Not to mention, Georgia offers the Camera Ready program, which is a free service that provides help with scouting, permitting, and other production needs in over 136 counties. At the event, aspiring TV producers and personalities heard from veteran industry execs who shared insight on how to deal with naysayers and how to tap into the industry's $9.5 billion. An industry that Brown says is here to stay. It's actually cheaper to do for studios and networks to do unscripted um, television uh, shows. So I just don't think it's going to go anywhere or be oversaturated because there's so many platforms for it to live on. So they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And keeping with the theme of reality television, the Braxton's Family Values is on season six. And Tawanda, Tracy, and Trina stopped by 11 Alive Studios just yesterday and revealed how that reality show helped their personal lives. I think it helps us to communicate with each other. And I think it helps us to recognize what we need to work on individually. In watching our problems, maybe they would get some healing mm -hmm. from seeing us. Mm -hmm. And they have so much happening this season. Trina's opening more restaurants. Tawana just wrapped a movie. Tracy's album is coming out. Tony is getting married. Mm -hmm. And Tamar is telling her truth. Catch the next episode tonight at 9 p.m. on WeTV. Chesley, you and I gonna watch that? Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna check it out.